Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a, a haul video from uh, Bath & Body Works uh, annual candle day. It was uh, Saturday, December 2nd, 2017. Uh, I did a small haul, because I, I have so many candles that I don't need. Um, and also, not too much excited me this year uh, with Bath & Body Works. I think they've just been uh, kind of playing games with everything, but uh, regardless... Um, I'd already stocked up on Snow Mountain Lodge, uh, which was my, my candle scent for the year. Um, so I didn't know if they were going to have any today, so I stocked up on it with coupons over the past two months or so. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's dive right on in. Uh, I did get this today. This is a candle holder. It says, uh, The Adventure Awaits, or Adventure Awaits. It's kind of like the same uh, theme that they're doing on their bags with the, it looks like a Jeep. Uh, with the Christmas tree on it, it's red with the trees. It's uh, it's kind of nice, very, very outdoorsy. I think it'll go with a lot of the the camp winter candles. It was my free item, um, but uh, they had two coupons that you could use. You could use uh, a free item with a ten dollar purchase up to twelve fifty or thirteen fifty, I think it was, and then uh, there was a, there was one coupon that was said ten off thirty, fifteen off forty, or I think twenty off fifty. Uh, so you could combine those, and I did use uh, the 15 off 40 as well. Um, so that's pretty nice. I normally don't buy these candle holders because uh, I just I don't spend money on them. I don't really do too much uh, decorative things with it, but for free, yeah, that's all I'll use for it. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, you've heard me talk about Campfire Donut before. I did get another one of these, uh, three wick. 14.5 ounces. It is an A2. Those are the ones that seem to be burning the best. The A2, the A1s are very duds. Uh, they don't throw as much as the A2. So definitely get the A2. It's in both packages, this one and the original one. Uh, then we have Evergreen from the, uh, let's make sure it doesn't reflect there, from the Marble Lid Collection. Now, what was interesting to note today, I did see a lot of the candles that were in the Marble Lids come with just the uh, the standard uh, metal lid there. So I don't know if they were just trying to be a little cheap there so you don't pay the extra $2. But anyhow, I did get one with the marble lid. They're kind of nice for, um, you know, putting your candle on or you could probably even put like a drink on it. So uh, evergreen, what we got here, the notes on this are white fir needles, fresh cedar wood, and sweet sap. A little bit of glitter on there, so... Um, I do like this one. I think this one, yeah, this one was fine with with the wick placement. Uh, and it's potent, man. It smells. It smells when you open it. Uh, then I got Warmth, which is uh, their pink petal tea cupcake is in this line or whatever that's called. Uh, that, that, to me, was too too feminine, too girly. I'm not really into the rose floral scents like that. Um, I like more of the organic, earthy scents here. And... Uh, uh, c comfort was nice. That's the blue one. Uh, I almost got that instead of this. But then I realized it's basically Yankee Candles Warm Luxe Cashmere, and I already have two of those. So I don't know if I needed a third one, but uh, I got warmth, and it's it's fireside comfort, right? So if you can look here on there, you can see that it looks like they're using the same labels, same icons from the campfire. Camp Winter, I guess, 2.0, we're going to call it, right? Some of the same icons are in there throughout that whole collection. And then uh, the original Campfire Donut has this uh, fire on there. So it is Fireside Comfort, which is rich vanilla, smoked leather, and cedarwood essential oil. Uh, don't be fooled. This is an exact dupe of smoked vanilla. And I had a feeling it was something similar, but when I got home this afternoon, um, I went and I read those notes. They're very similar. Not only are they similar notes, but they are the exact same scent. So this is probably going back because I don't need another one of those. Um, this will probably be exchanged for something else. But I do like the, it's just kind of like a light gray in a label, or, you know, a glass, kind of like a grayish purple, maybe. Um, with a nice little, like, rustic-looking, galvanized-type look uh, lid on there. But uh, the cinnamon rum raisin smelled really nice. I don't know why I didn't get that. 
But uh, anyhow, I do like this collection. Um, it's probably one of their better, their better labels this year. Um, and then moving on to one of their worst labels this year, <laughs> the Dear Santa, I Just Want a Unicorn, which is Peppermint Marshmallow. So what are the notes on this guy? Crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. Um, peppermint marshmallow is a, it's a staple. It's been out for years. Uh, Dear Santa, I just want a unicorn. What does that even mean? Are we adults here? Um, Mind-boggling. Anyhow. Um, yeah, I'll keep it, except for this one. I got, uh, I was in a rush, so the wicks are a little wacky, so I'm going to take this back to the store. Uh, not only that, but it doesn't have as much wax as the other ones. When I go to, when I went and put it up next to, um, I don't know if this will show here, next to uh, that guy, there's like a quarter of an inch difference on it. That's a campfire donut right there, so uh, I don't know uh, if, if, if it's just a candle if it's just how this candle is poured, I don't know. But anyhow, on to the, the real winner for me today was this Luck Candle, part of their new, I guess they're calling a gemstone collection that was just released in store today. This is jade. Uh, this is very potent. It's very green. The scent is just very green. It's in no way holiday. This is not a holiday candle. This is... A transition candle from when you're getting like itchy for spring in January, February. This is just amazing. It's dewy greens, white jasmine, sweet clover, and a touch of apple. I'm getting the greens and the jasmine in this. It is strong. And this label goes all the way around. They had a couple other ones uh, in this collection. In this, eh, these wicks look okay. I might, then eh, one might be a little too, you know, a little off, but. Uh, that was probably, whew, I can smell it now, probably my favorite candle I picked up today. Uh, I might go back and get another one, um, if they have another decent sale or see what's around after, uh, on some annual sale after Christmas. So, um, did not see any Merry Cookie today. I did smell the bubble gum that everybody was talking about, the Girl Gang label, um, very, very authentic bubble gum. Not for me. Not for me at all. Um, but if you like bubble gum, if you like the bubblicious, you know, with the chew tape, the pink, the pink one, the pink chew tape, um, then that bubble gum is your candle. It's a great candle. If you like bubble gum, not for me. Uh, no Merry Cookie, like I said, um, that I saw today. I did smell the. What is it? The Cactus Blossom? Not for me. A um, couple other new ones that were released today. Not uh, not for me. So, anyhow, well, that's it for my little Bath and Body Works haul video today. Uh, let me know how you guys made out on Candle Day. Uh, did you get anything? Did you refrain? I know they were a little bit more expensive this year, uh, but the coupons were good. I got five candles in this uh, holder for a total of... Twenty nine seventy five before tax. So that's uh, was that five six six dollars a candle. Uh, make it five dollars a candle if you throw in the uh, the free freebie there, five or something like that. So not too bad. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you thought um, of the candle day. Let me know what you think of uh, any of the candles that came out today that you you got or you passed on or uh, if you just chose not to. Not to get anything because it wasn't, you know, nothing really came out for you this year, um, which I've heard a lot of people say. So, anyhow, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, until next time, thanks for watching, guys.